Hello everyone. It has been a while since I have done any uh, modeling, uh, model figures. Uh, um, so you can tell the camera's at a different angle and you can actually see my face. <laughs> While we were doing, oh, uh, first paper. It's because I have a blanket to help keep me warm. And this is to keep some of the metal shavings off the blanket and me. So, all right. Anyways, now, um, so you can see my face. And that's possible because the, uh, I can reach the camera now. Uh, while we were going through uh, our purging and cleaning and stuff, which we're not done yet, it will take a long while, um, I came across my old Legos. So I built a Lego tower. I secured the webcam at the top and it can't fall off it's locked into place but it can shift a little and i can adjust the angle and um that is what i'm using now it's absolutely hilarious but uh quite frankly it works so what the fuck do i care oh and uh yeah you can see the mess there that bowl is from lunch that pop bottle is an empty one that I use to keep water in it to water the plant that's behind me for sushi cat grass. And which I need to fill up and all that other stuff. We haven't worked on the bedroom at all. This is just actually quite a bit of 40k stuff. There's some novels, there's some books there. At the bottom there's an old laptop that's uh, garbage. Need to get rid of it properly. Anyways, so uh, the figure that we are going to work on today is, what is it? Can you get into focus? Focus? Focus. It's over my face. Do you focus? You can't focus. Damn you. Dark Angle, Dark Angle, Dark Angel's Chief Librarian. So it's, it's not even open yet. So we got all the pieces here. Um, and while doing the cleaning, here, I'm going to adjust the camera downwards now. So the stuff's going to be done. And you can see my T. There we go. Okay, so, found these, this old set, and it's missing, I think, one. These are files that were not taken care of, because there's some rust on them. But... They are of different types. So this would be a flat one. Uh, completely round. All here, it is for filing. And different angle, but another flat one. Angled at the bottom. Or the tip, as it were. Triangle shape one. Not triangle, really. It's more like a pyramid. This one is... This will be difficult to see. It is rounded on one side. And flat on the other. And this one would be cube-like shaped. Goes down to a point. And all these will just allow you to get into different angles and crevices and things like that and file off uh, different uh, materials. Uh, different materials. You know, the flashing and stuff like that. And this is my tea. Loose leaf green tea with some honey in it. Hmm. You know, other people, like, they'll put it into a tea ball, or there's other things that you can get for it, so you don't have that. I like that, so i leave it in. All right, let's open this up. In the background, on the monitor, behind the camera, uh, there is a... Uh, the video playing that I'm just uh, letting go silently. 
Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, so we have a banner and backpack, a sword, a power sword, I, I would assume of some kind, and the actual figure, and I'm looking at how this is going to attach, and I'm like, okay. All right, not not the greatest. Maybe a bit of green stuff to fill in a gap. Then you have the backpack and banner. I really don't like how that attaches. Uh, should be like that. I put it in the wrong spot. That's a tiny bit better, but not very nice. Okay. So, oh, I didn't get my uh, clippers. Go there. There. Now, let's take off this. I'm going to glue all the pieces on because in this video, because this one. It, it isn't mine, it's my husband's, which normally it's like, okay, approve all the pieces, and then I glue, he or I will glue it together. But in this case, the pieces appear that I can... I can actually... Yeah, let's tuck this in with that. Yeah. Um, I can... Uh, Put it on and still be able to clean edges if needed. Come on. Now, I, I would say when doing uh, models and cleaning and stuff like that, it is nice to have something on in the background. Maybe a Let's Play, or a movie you enjoy, or something like that. My bib is breaking. Okay, don't need that. And... Don't need that. I'm going to take this piece off. It's barely attached. Let's go over here. There we go. This one will break too. It's just to help a little. Um, okay. And then onto the figure. Let's see. I might have to clip this off, but we'll see. I don't know if he's going to want to use the base that it came with, or that's some weird flashing. Or a different base. Is that it for the big flashing? It looks like it. Okay. Alright. I want to start with the sword. Let's check this blade. Yes, it feels sharp enough. Could be better. The blade doesn't go down to like a sharp edge. It's blunted off. So we'll just keep that. Make sure it's defined nicely. Obviously with my hands in the way, you can't see. But it's now easier to see. See that glint? That's from my scraping. That's what that does. So you take it off, it'll get shiny. It's a good thing that I'm not 
a cat right now because shiny chase oh geez really hard to do the uh video when that this is not much i'm just making sure there's no bumps on the uh, flat side of the blade there is a detail on it that is closer to the uh, hilt and stuff so i want to make sure that that stands out well now i'm checking down into the hilt there's a little bit um, just above the hilt. I don't know what you would call that part. Because you have the blade here. And you have this. And then here's the hilt, the cross guard. And that's the pummel. So I'm not too sure what you would call that, so... If you hear any noises, that's the uh, window. Uh, okay, so his fist is there. Don't have to worry about that. And what is this down here? Is that flashing? Holy crap, that is. Wow. It could have passed as part of the design. That means, yep, okay, that is flashing as well. Wow, that was like impossible. It's around a, um, a power cord. It goes down or near his fist, touching the back. Okay. This the bottom of it and no ah. there we go. Okay. This one, all the stuff I did on it, you're really not going to see any improvements. It's just, like, minuscule. Oh, shit. It's minuscule changes all around. It's just not going to work. Like, you're in the, even if it could get into proper focus, which it really isn't, you're not going to get the tiniest of details on that. It just can't be seen. This one, let's see. No, that would stay. That's not a mistake. Okay, I'm looking at the banner here. I'm seeing if there's anything quite quite bad with it and initially I thought there was um let's see put this plate you're not gonna again you're not gonna be able to see this but it's just like there's an edge here right and I thought that was a part of a bad cast and it needed to be smooth but looking at the front there's like a border ribbon that goes around that would be mirrored on the back side like um like an edging so thankfully that doesn't need to be cleaned off because that i'd have to do off camera because it would probably take about two hours So here, there's a little bit up top here. A little bit of flashing. Uh, 
yeah, this is completely fine now. Uh, along the top? Yeah, there is. Okay. Not the very top, but where the rings are and where the banner is up here. Along the very top, I'm using my fingernail here, along the very top of it, all along there's a little bit of flashing. So we can get rid of that, clean this up. Excellent. Okay. So, here we go. Uh huh. And on this side, same deal. This is very much one of those, well, you're not going to notice it if you don't do it, but it will improve the overall detail and quality and so forth. And there's a little bump on the back here. It was from flashing that I cut off. So let's get rid of that. And what I can do here is to show one of these. Let's see. Let's take this one. This is rounded on one side, flat on the other. So what I'm going to do is there is a bump down here, or up here, I should say, because this is the top of the banner. So I'm just going to gently file this. Run my fingernail over it. My fingernail says that that is completely smooth now. We got all of it. Um, I'm going to run it on the flag here, or the banner, sorry, it's not a flag. On the bottom of it. And I'm still using the flat side. Now I'm going to try the rounded side a little. The rounded side works great in the, oh, sorry, the uh, crevice right here. So that would work great in here. I'm just doing a few quick passes and it smooths things out. I'm back to the flat side. So I'm doing the bottom and an edge here. And uh, a little bit more because there's some flashing. Some ridge. So as you can see, even though I prefer the knife, the file does have its place. So don't um, dismiss it. If you're getting into the hobby, don't, don't uh, dismiss some of these other tools. You may not be able to afford it right away. Consider it as part of an investment a little bit down the road, you know? So I'm going to do the rest of this flag, banner, it's not a flag, Sarah, banner, thank you, and it's not Bruce. Okay, I'm going to do the rest with the file, and where, what I'm doing is the spots that had flashing, there's little nubs left, well I'm getting rid of the nubs. 
So on the jetpack portion, oh, there's a tiny bit right here. It was missed. Oh, flashing, very tiny. Kind of like on the sword that was, wait, that's flashing? Yeah, that's flashing. So we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Okay. So this one here, if you needed to go into this crevice here, you're not going to be able to see it on the camera all that well. But it is very much like a V-shape. So the one that's a triangle or a pyramid, um, that would be good in there if you needed something like that. Ah, there's something that is catching my skin right here, so... Got it. I will say this, that um, if you have a, um, a physical labor type job, you may have trouble actually um, feeling some of this stuff with your fingers because the skin develops some pretty tough calluses and, and things like that. I mean, when I worked at McDonald's, I was doing the cleaning and maintenance, and uh, my fingers took such a beating that the very tips of them, to say about that much of a finger, right? So not very much. I could stick in a... Uh, uh, hot oil of 380 degrees or so we just quick hold it out and not feel it it get a little bit warm but if you don't have a uh, physical labor type job using your fingers and skin and stuff is a fantastic way to see if you got all the spots that you want to get, all the spots that you want to improve on. So, you know, you, you can keep that in mind. Uh huh, I, uh, there. Yeah, physical job, you'll have to find. Uh, other ways around it, maybe uh, run other areas of skin that is potentially softer than the fingertips. Now you could use your wrist, possibly. Your forearm, maybe the underside. There, oh, uh, come on. Okay, yep, that is good. How is this? That is good. We, uh, we don't need this. That's, uh, flashing. Well, that's not flashing. That was for the mold that was, um, where the metal was poured in. So it went from here up. There's quite a bit there, so I think I'll take the knife in on that. But first things first are these little vents or directional things for the jetpack, I think. I'm not too sure. So quickly file this.
Okay. I just realized that my microphone wasn't put into position. So I'll have to see how the sound comes out. I'm not going to put it into position now because the sound gets really weird. So you may see this, you may not. Um, we'll have to see in post. If you see this, you know that I was able to do get everything in order for it. Not that's a detail that can stay. Uh, no, I want the flat side. Right there, okay, that's, that's better. Um, all right, let's take a look here. And I'm only going back, I said I'd do the whole thing. I'm only going back to the knife because this is quite a bit of metal. There. And I'll polish it up. Okay. I like how that came out. So we got two pieces down and a third to go. And this can be tricky because the armor often has um, details that can, well, that can really be problems. Okay, this is, on the armor there are these like rivets, and there's one that's a flashing that is out of place, it could pass as a rivet if it was in a better spot, and it isn't. Let's see if I can use the knife. In the very tip of it. Yep. That worked out better. Let's go back to the file because I'm trying to just show off the file. Honestly, I have no idea how well the file would work. Um, on the plastics. I would assume it would work. I just don't know how well. Okay, that's fine, fine. How's the head? It's got a nasty line going over the cowl. Okay, let's fix that up. Yeah, there is a nasty line that I really do not appreciate. Why does your cowl have that line? It does not belong. If you are the chief librarian, you should take better care of your clothing. You are representing, representing the chapter. I do believe the dark angels or blood angels or whatever. Uh has great pride. 
not try to be. Looks after their gear. You know, and that includes the clothing. For shame on you, librarian. For shame. Okay. Oops. And it goes down onto the shoulder pad of the armor. And oh my god, some flashing and some detail bits are sticking into my fingers as I hold this. Holy shit, does that hurt? Ow. All right, let's just get this. Come in, nice clean line. There we go. Shoulder pad is done. How is the book on here? Hmm, need some work. Okay, corners, yes. Doesn't appear to be any kind of binding. Is that flashing? I don't know if that's a detail of flashing. I'm going to leave it. Okay, and it's the corners of the books that seem to have the uh, some of the flashing sharp pointy bits that hurt if you grab it. And I don't think that's normally on the book. Whatever the book is. The Cody's Astartes? I don't know. Just a holy tomb? Probably a holy tomb. That makes far more sense. Alright. This is flashing. It was on the foot. I missed it before. It's always good to, like, go over a few times and stuff just because, hang on, that isn't a part of it. That's flashing. It can always be an issue. All right, now... I am trying to hurry somewhat. I don't want this to be too long with a mediocre volume. After, like, what, nearly half an hour realizing, hang on, the microphone is not in my face. Where is it? Oh, I forgot to move it. Shite. Okay, so your toe has some flashing. Or maybe we can call it webbing. I don't know. And some more here. There we go. Yeah, this, the paper towel is catching a lot of... Uh, of the filings. So it's rather handy to uh, do that. Okay. Now is this done? Hang on. Oh. Uh, yeah, this here needs to be filed. Let's get this down. Hmm. 
Yep, that's okay. That is that. Back to the book. The Holy Tomb. Since it's a librarian, I'm figuring a holy tomb. Tome, not tomb. Um... It looks and feels good. So I'm going to start uh, at this point with the uh, blue ink, but let's take care of this metal here. Okay. There we go. Nice and clean. Sip of tea. Okay. Blue. I would like to do the sword first. Which is more or less easy because of something they did in the casting, which is nice. So it should go something like that. There's a hole there and there's a nub on the back here. And so I can just stick it in. There we go. So I can just put some glue here. Fill that little, little hole. Take this. Twist it to line it up and hold it in position until it dries. Sorry. Can't really rotate that. Eh. There. Not really. And any cracks or whatever, maybe a little bit of green stuff to fill it in. Maybe. Now, actually, I might be able to. This is a little bit silly to try and do. Yeah, I can't. I can't get a very good grip. But, oh, nope. Please tell me this, this does not need to be pinned because we don't have a drill bit for pinning. Uh, if you don't know what pinning is, that's where you drill a hole uh, into the two pieces. You get, take a paper clip um, and you cut a small piece off so it'll act as, well, like a pin, right? And uh, you're using glue and all that kind of stuff, and uh, that's how you attach it, by using that as a uh, piece of metal rod, if you will, to uh, hold it in place. Pinning. I'm going to pause the recording. While the while I hold this and it dries, it's going to take a while, I think. Pause. Yes. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to double check with my husband. The glue doesn't appear to be working, and I could have sworn he said that this glue will work on metal. So uh, maybe it's just shit glue. I I, I don't know. I can't glue the pieces together. Uh, erg, erg, erg. So. We'll have to end it there. What I can do is go, oh, look. It's been magically attached. Somehow. Something maybe to do with the warp that allowed this to all be put together. 
Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll figure that out for my husband later. Um, sorry, I couldn't put it all put together, but that was my plan, and I do hope you uh, like the um, the camera being closer. It was kind of fun building the Lego tower, I must admit. Anyways, I, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Oh, oh, let's, let's turn this up here. There we go. I do hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. And um, we'll watch more once I get them. God, the smell of the glue. Can't think. Whew. I have to turn the fan on afterwards. Um, yes, uh, if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe down below for more videos like this and of other videos, uh, hopefully with the microphone in place. It isn't. Yeah. It's just one of those videos. There's links down below in the description should you want to follow me on Twitch or Twitter. Uh, but until next we meet, please do be safe, everyone. Bye!